Big day is here. Paris Marathon 2023. It is mad. Like, yo, the pre Man. So yeah, we're finally here. We've got the metro. Obviously, all the people that were on the metro are getting a feeling for it. And I wouldn't say the nerves are kicking in, but that competition feeling of being ready is definitely here. Getting, <laughs> yeah, getting ready and steady. Yo, look who pulled up on me as well. My number one pulled up on me. Last night, these lot, these jokers. <laughs> come up with this big surprise and didn't even let me know I'm there talking at the dinner table saying oh wish my mum was here wish my family was here 20 minutes later my mum pulls up on me so that's an even bigger boost for yeah. the big day you get me so time now play time to over again feeling ready and steady the goal that I said in the previous it's time to smash that now all in you ready now Wondering why there's a mime on there. Obviously, to signify that we're in France, but just let the work do the talking. Let's go, go, go. I just said, ask Kai what I just said to him. Where's Wally? People, so it's another live commentary with me. I'm just going to give you a little in depth look as to how the marathon actually went throughout it because I've got some footage here from the actual marathon itself. I'm going to give you my insight and how I was feeling throughout the whole marathon from 1 to 42k. Yeah, let you know where my head was at, let you know how I was feeling physically. Yeah, let's give you a little breakdown. So, so first 1 to 5k, um, and I'm also going to put the breakdowns of the times each bit I'm talking about wherever I've got space from 1 to 5k we was averaging at a pace me and Kai were together at this point in pace for the first five at 417 per kilometer which is I think super steady um, how it worked was there's as you can see from how big the crowd was there's so many people in each category but entering the marathon you put what predicted time you want to aim for etc so within the three and a half hour sub crew um, people, obviously it's 50,000 or 45,000 people competing, to let you off in waves. So bit by bit, um, the elites at the start and then it goes three hours, 3.30, four hours. No, three hours, 45, sorry, yeah, and then four hours. The first five kilometers, we were just pacing nicely because of as I've spoken to you guys beforehand the routes that are around my area that I live in that I run around and have been for the whole marathon prep I knew this would be a benefit for me because as I say to you that the hills around here are dark and the inclines that you have at the start of my run and at the end as coming as I'm coming back towards my house that is enough to prepare you for any marathon that is out there especially a flat one like Paris which was feeling so calm movement was feeling good then from 5 to 10k the split times were for me basically trying to keep between 4 15 I'd say and 35 I think that for me was the sort of this part of the race anyway it's it was easy to sustain that yeah 428 and then the 10 four zero seven. 407 so it speeded up a bit quite then. 4.15 on the 12 kilometer, 4.10 on the 13th, 
423 on a 14 and 422 on a 15 kilometer. <laughs> Still, at this point, I'm thinking like me and Kyle were saying to each other, I think we lost to each other at about 10. We may have split ways. We're saying to each other, like, bro, easy work. We're holding this pace nicely. Let's not do like, nothing outlandish. Let's not do nothing out of the ordinary. It's race day, but we've practiced this over and over and over again, holding this pace for long durations of time. We don't need to do nothing out of the ordinary. If we hold this pace, we're going to absolutely smash our times and more. I had my first gel. In preparation, I wasn't really dealing with gels like that, but after I had that gel at 10 kilometers, I was feeling a stitch, not a mad one that was going to even hinder my performance, but I just felt it lurking. So I was just thinking, yeah, it's not ideal, but keep pushing anyway. You've got people there with the drums beating off tunes, you've got people there singing, you've got the crowd banging up on the, on the barriers, just taking in Paris. The settings were just crazy, it was mad. There were pacemakers for each category also, so three and a half hour pacemakers, but because the groups were so large, they've got to have a couple of them for each wave that comes up. So I'd seen a couple three and a half hour pacemakers, so I knew that my pace was, was there. Always got someone to chase, taking over people, taking over people, I feel like that just kept, that kept it going. And yes, it's a good feeling. Um, first 10K I completed in 43 minutes. 15k at an hour and four minutes. Way, way, way on target. 15k to 20k. 20k was finished by one hour, 26. Average pace of 420. So from 15 to 20, I've been so feeling super duper strong again. Had another gel at 420. Cause I had just about shaken off the stitch from the last one. I just knew I was just gonna have a stitch from them anyway. And because of within marathon prep, yeah, it's not good. Definitely think I can improve on. Fueling. Personally for me, I don't like running with any sort of fullness. It's called training low. So I apply that to myself with in regards to carbohydrates, pre-workout, intra-workout and post-workout. So any sort of carbs on the day I knew was going to hint me a bit, but that's something that I can work towards on the next one. I know I could have slowed it down a bit more, but I was feeling breathing was, it was, it was just flowing so nice getting enough to think about it. 20 to 25 average in pace. Now it's still 423. I'm still way, way, way within the target area. And you can see me here again. I'll be honest with you, throughout the longest duration of the marathon, I felt like I was overtaking people, so I thought also I didn't have no music, by the way. <laughs> From the time that we touched down, my signal was moving a bit. Shaky, I've gone to start playing my music now. And all my songs on Spotify were just weren't available for online. I was all trying to hotspot for me in the first 10k of the race. I thought, you know what? It's happened for a reason. Just grind it out. So it's been two hours so far, and you're nearly at 28k already, <laughs> averaging about 4.18 minutes per kilometer. Estimated time three hours. Three minutes. <laughs> I know you got this. We've got a little way to go. We're gonna be at the finish line to meet you, of course. Supplies. But, but yeah, honestly, one of the proudest days of my life. So see you at the finish. Alright, so cool. So this is when it starts taking a turn. I'm gonna put a screenshot of this part here. 26 feeling good, 27 is feeling good, 28 is feeling good. I'll be taking any food from there at this point anyway. 28 kilometers come still nice pace within the 27 kilometer like 27 28 i felt that little just twinge in my hamstring and i know what that means but i just knew what was going to come from them times but i was thinking maybe it will hold out maybe it's just i just gotta keep it steady keep between the paces that i'm on hopefully i'll be all good but in between the 29th 30th kilometer bang running my left hamstring gone cramped so at this point i'm thinking wow honestly honestly this is what i think i'm thinking it's not ideal but I know that I've been running such a good race so far that I've got plenty of time to not kill, but 
I've got time to play around with as my mum updated you guys. I was averaging at a pace to finish the race three hours and three minutes, three hours and four minutes. And I knew that subconsciously in my head, but I thought, you know what? It's not the end of the world. I pulled up, stretched it out, been there for about maybe about a minute or so. Looked to my left and I see Kai coming up towards me. It was just mad how we just bumped into each other again. He thought I was, he thought I was going to toilet basically. But I was like, nah bro, I'm late, just finished. But seeing him sort of took my mind off it anyway, I stretched out, we kept it moving. We was then together for maybe the next two kilometers, I'd say, and then me and Kai split ways again because it was lurking, it was gone, but I knew that it could come back. Any wrong movements, I know it come back. So I thought if I hold this pace for out, it shouldn't hinder my average pace too much. 33 kilometers cruising, 34, 35, boom, it hits me again in my left side again, and I'm thinking, because you know what it is, throughout this marathon, it's mentally is so crazy because all these things are happening past the distance that I've done prior. So that was, all, that was all that was going through my head really and truly is that I was preparing for it. But if it was to hit me, there's no option. As I said in the last video, there is no option of me stopping one and there's no option two of me not hitting the goal that I need to hit. So I was in the trenches, in the trench. I'm stretching it out, stretching out again. And at that point, I think there's a bit of a crowd like cheering on. Like, let's bear in mind, I've got water station coming up soon so I've hit that fueling station had quite a bit of water and I ate a bear bananas yes I ate a few bananas when you're getting into these parts of the races that you sort of need to tap into your mental side it's like you know what I'm thinking of routes that I was doing around in my area and I'm thinking all I've got to do is just 7k left in your head you're thinking 7k that's just that's a light little run just round not because I'm not hot enough the area that I live in but that's just from there to there light work got that shaking it out you know, and I had to slow it down because I was thinking I do not want this to be so bad that yeah, I'm gonna have to <laughs> I'm gonna have to crawl across that the finish line basically running keeping it steady keeping it steady yes like I'm at this point I'm digging in just focus on other things other than cramps so I'm just focusing on my breathing just <sighs> opening up my lungs 40th kilometer comes bang all right hand he goes and this one is Bad, like when I say this is bad, this is bad. To the point of I'm stretching it, leaning down, doing a hamstring stretch, and every time it loosens up, and I keep coming up to a stand up, pain is gone again. At this point, I'm 40 kilometers. I'm holding onto the fence on the side. One woman, like, obviously, you've got a fair um, spectators on the side. One French woman's come up to me, like, keep going, keep going. I'm like, and so many things were going through my mind at that point. I was thinking, I was thinking, one, all the work that I've put in to get to this final point today, I was stopping is not an option. It's, it's, it, it can't, like, there's no way that I can stop. There's no way that you've come this far just to come this far. You've got two kilometers left. And even though the cramp was so bad, it would be bad enough to say, you know what, write it off. And I've seen so many people at those points, like running and, and, and pulling up with the, with the yellow sheets with the cling film sheets around it. That's when you know you're out for the count, it's finished. I'm not stopping. So whatever I need to do, even if I need to be here for however long I need to be, I'm not stopping at this point. So I'm stretching it out, stretching it out. It's basically stretch it out as long as we need and kill that time to be able to finish the rest of the race rather than spending too little time stretching it and then pulling up again. So I've stretched it out and kept it moving again. At this point, I've got two kilometers left. Spectators, the junkie, the vibe is jumping, banging on the boards, and pushing. But at this point, I'm holding the back of my hamstring to ensure that I can get to the end of the race. Because trust me, it was digging deep time. See me through the middle, kind of got in a red t shirt. Times that are at the top there because 
that's just applicable for those that started right at the beginning. Yeah, mad. Oh, it was just mad, it was mad, it was mad. What an experience. One, the whole weekend itself was, it was madness. We missed our flight on the way there. Had to drive to France. Um, had issues with the hotel when we got there. So many factors that could have, which could have put a downer on it. And we arrived at 5 a.m. on Saturday morning, bearing in mind the traffic was crazy. We were on our way to the airport. Slept from five until 10, five hours we went to the expo to collect everything that we needed and then my mum came and surprised me which was crazy but we only had five hours sleep that night it just gave me that boost that I needed because everything just wasn't going to plan just the whole setting yourself the togetherness the want from other people for you to do so well even if you never met them from god knows who there's people that I'd seen briefly at the expo the day before um, one of the guys whilst I was cramping, I felt a big tap on my back. And he's like, bro, Ali, keep going. And that for me is just like, togetherness is, is you can't explain. And that's what helps you get through. So it, it's life changing, it's life changing. I can't put it into words. Obviously there's so many benefits from running and, and taking part in it itself. But doing that marathon, it even just gives you a breakdown into life as to, for me, how the whole weekend was with all the obstacles leading up to it. On top of the obstacles throughout the marathon with the cramps, you put that into life, and there's so many things the, the obstacles and learning to change in that to give you energy to keep pushing and deliver even more. So, definitely a big case of that, and just unlocking and just setting a new level at the end of the day. It's another big accomplishment achieved apart from finding that perfect balance. I was on course for getting a 304, which would have been insane. I'm still more than grateful to get three hours and 22 minutes. 44 seconds in my first marathon in Paris with my brother and him getting 316 whilst I was having that cramp at 40k kept pushing didn't have no issues kept pushing and that feeling for me knowing that I had a part to play in regards to him hitting that time yeah I can't put into words how grateful I am for the whole experience and for the day itself and for the process and I can't wait for the next I have recorded build up to the marathon but unfortunately lost my other camera with the SD card in it in Paris which is a down I haven't been able to give you guys the knowledge and the in-depth info week by week as what well. I've wanted to my schedule's been all over the place during this marathon it's been so sporadic and being here there everywhere and being able to give you guys knowledge as to how to PR for the next marathon and what I'm doing to achieve the goals that I need to. But it's not the case of me not doing that because now I feel like this is the statement to show that when it comes to this, there's things for me to learn and things to improve on. I've gone out there and produced the time that I've wanted to with the preparation that I've needed to. And so many learning curves so for me it sits better right with me being able to do that making a statement and then coming back and being able to inform you guys on how you can pr your next 5k your next 10k half marathon push to get these prs in the next races how to get faster how to do these things making a mistake of what i did and nearly burning out because i feel like that's how i was feeling in regards to the marathon itself on the back end of the preparation. So I'll be, I'll, I'll keep it 100 with you. Paris Marathon complete, thank God for allowing me to be able to complete it. And Kai and, and both of us be able to kill it. Yeah, it's the first of many. So tune in and as always, if you haven't already, go and subscribe so we can hit that 1K subs. And the job has been done. It wouldn't be right if I didn't have obstacles and hurdles and these things that we're going to try put me off doing what I needed to do throughout this process and throughout this journey. You know we stay forever unfinished, regardless of the obstacles thrown at us. Twice as hard, twice as good. Love you guys for locking in. I want to big up all the people that donated and all the
people that have been showing love, man. It's done me unnoticed. Big up yourself for tuning in and we'll see you lot in the next video.